Good evening, everyone. I'm Renette DuBose. Thank you so much for joining us. Coverage you can count on begins tonight with a small plane crash at Daniel Field Airport. The crash shut down Highland Avenue at Wrightsboro Road for several hours. News Channel 6's Devin Johnson explains. After several hours, Highland Avenue is clear, and the plane was lifted back onto Daniel Field from the crash site. Now the National Transportation Safety Board is investigating what caused the aircraft to crash. Around 2.15, the Augusta Fire Department responded to a single pilot plane crash. The fire department spokesman Jason Dayhart says the pilot was trying to land the plane on the runway but could not stop and went through the airport's fence. The aircraft continued on to Highland Avenue and finally came to a stop at a carport. A witness describes what he saw before the plane went down. I could witness and hear a plane above me and it was coming in kind of low and fast. And from where I was, I can see above the Jaguar Stadium on Wrightsboro Road. I saw him turn coming in, but he was slanted a bit. And he disappeared over this tree line right upon the hill uh, coming from the golf course. Augusta Aviation issued a statement saying the aircraft was landing on runway 11 and for unknown reasons was unable to stop after touching down on the runway. Richard Stevens says the engine did not sound normal. It was loud. It was louder than usual. I mean, I'm by an airport. You hear planes. But it was loud like it's kind of low. Flight Aware reports the aircraft was coming from Augusta Regional to Daniel Field, about an eight-minute flight. The pilot suffered minor injuries and was taken to the hospital. After attending to the pilot, authorities turned their attention to getting the plane carrying 200 gallons of fuel back onto Daniel Field to avoid a fire. Wishes out to the pilot. I hope he's doing all right. And his family, prayers to you all. The pilot was the only person on board. No other drivers on Highland Avenue was injured. The NTSB is leading this investigation. Count on the News Channel 6 for more details.